Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this super quick video, I'm gonna show you all of the options that you have for your mobile menu settings inside Squarespace. We're gonna take a look at changing the icon for your mobile menu, the spacing between the links inside your main navigation, and we'll also check out some of the header layouts. There's no code in this particular tutorial, it's just a quick overview of all the settings that are built right into Squarespace. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look. So here we are in my demo site. I'm taking a look at the mobile preview. If we click this, we'll go back to desktop. Clicking that icon, we'll see the mobile version, which is what we're working with today. I'm gonna select edit, and then as soon as I hover over this, I'll see edit site header. This is how we can access our mobile menu settings. Now over here, as soon as this menu pops up, it says global, and this is where you can do things like change the title of your site, add social media icons, or a call to action button, anything that's going to affect your website on any screen size. What we wanna work with is mobile specifically, so I'm gonna click on this icon right here. Now at the very bottom, we've got our menu icon options. We've got the plus sign, the two lines, the standard burger, the one with the slightly smaller, I don't know what we're gonna call that one, but that icon, <laughs> you've got all of those right there. Now above that, we have the header layout and the overlay menu. The header layout is what we're seeing in this preview right here, and it'll show my logo on the left and then my icon on the right. If I click on this, I can see all the other options that I have. I've got logo centered and icon pushed further to the right, this option right here, this option here with the stuff on the left, and then the left again. Now you'll notice none of these will perfectly center the logo of my website, except for this option and this option. So if you wanna go for a perfectly centered logo, regardless of where your menu is, select this one or this one, okay? Cool, so these are our layout options. I'll go ahead and leave it here. I personally like having the menu on the right. I feel like that's the way websites have been designed for a while, so it's just good UX, so I'll leave it there. Now let's go ahead and hop back and take a look at the overlay menu. We have a couple more options. Here in the overlay menu, you'll notice my menu has now popped up and that's what we're taking a look at. You can change the alignment of the actual links to pages in your site, left, center, or right. And then link spacing is going to adjust the distance between the links. So if you want them to be super close together or super far apart, just use that little slider right there. Little pro tip, what this stands for is 4.5 VW or 4.5% of the width of the site. So kind of an interesting stat. You're not seeing a PX. It's a different length value there. Just thought I'd throw that in there if you're curious. But I personally like using the slider until it looks good. And then after that, we have the colors option. This is where you can select a different color theme for your mobile menu. Maybe you want it to be the bright color theme or you want it to be darkest one. You select the color theme here and if you wanna change any of these colors, we've gotta hop into our site styles menu. I'm gonna click this icon right here. We'll select colors and let's go ahead and open up our mobile menu again, there we go. We'll hop into bright two, I believe that was what we selected. There we go. Now we can change some of the details about just the mobile menu. It's called menu overlay. I'm just gonna do a quick control find on my keyboard to scroll down to it. There we go. So menu overlay is what we'd adjust. Let's say that this all looks great, but we actually want the button text to be a solid white on a black background. I'll click that little circle there and select this color. And just that part is going to change. Now it's been updated, it's kind of hard to see because it was pretty close to the light blue, but you get where I'm going with that one. Uh, let's change the background. Maybe instead of the blue, we want the light gray. I'll click the circle and I can select the light gray for my color palette, or I can hop on into custom and pick literally any color I want, like a light purple, for example. Completely customizable and all we're changing is the menu overlay. Alrighty, let's hop back out of there and I'll show you really quickly how we got to all of those options. We're going to select done up here. It's gonna think for a minute. There we go. <laughs> so you're taking a look at your website, you wanna change the mobile menu, hop into edit mode and select edit site header. If you click on this mobile icon, this is where you can change the icon itself to whatever you want it to be. You can adjust the header layout, either having the icon on the right or the icon on the left, centering your logo, whatever you wanna do there. Let's go ahead and hop back. 
Your overlay menu is where you're going to change the alignment of those links, left, center, or right. And you can adjust the link spacing manually or by just sliding this thing around until it looks perfect for what you're going for. To change the colors, clicking here, you can select a different color theme, but you can customize it even further by clicking your site styles icon, selecting colors, hopping into whatever color theme you've assigned it to, and scroll and go ahead and click the icon to open up your menu so you can see it. There we go. And you'll be able to scroll down to menu overlay, and this is where you're gonna make some adjustments. Now we are in the bright two color theme, so if we click on that, we'll see the purple color we've assigned and all the other customizations that we've made. Whatever you decide to go with, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this quick overview of the settings for the mobile menu in your Squarespace website. Now there are a lot more things you can do to customize the look of your mobile menu using just a little bit of CSS. I have quite a few tutorials about this on my channel and I've linked some related videos below. I have a tutorial on how to create a background image for your mobile menu, how to use a custom font for the links in your mobile menu, even replace the icon with text if that's what you want to do all kinds of fun options check out the related videos listed below thank you so much for watching this quick overview i hope you learned something awesome give me a like on this video and subscribe if you want to learn more about all the amazing things you can do with squarespace because i post a brand new tutorial every single week thanks again for watching and most importantly have fun with your squarespace website bye for now